Hello statistics and pre-calculus. One of the most challenging things to wrap your head around in this chapter, and indeed in the whole course, is all of these transformations coming together. The good news is none of them are especially challenging on their own. The challenge is that there are so many of them at any given point in time. So if you can keep track of them, you can keep them all straight and we'll do them one at a time and everybody is on the relatively easy side. So take out your big blue book and turn to the back page that big blue book of parent functions that you've started filling out with some parent functions turn to the back page we've got a summary going on here uh, the first is a translation moving left and right moving in the x direction so if you take a graph and you move it to the right the x coordinates change the y coordinates stay the same so you've got the same graph it's there numerically that's the equivalent of adding h to the x coordinates you see that from here algebraically in the equation, you replace x with x minus h. It's always minus, it goes back and forth. The idea is that if you put this point into the equation with x minus h, you have the plus h minus h cancels out and it gets you back to the original x. That's how it works. If it's vertically, on the other hand, the x stays the same and the y changes. So you add k to the y coordinates. In the equation, you replace y with y minus k. So this is all pretty straightforward. It's Each one is by themselves, and you can see that they're exactly the same, just which one are you doing it to, x or y. Dilations. Dilations are stretches, multiplications. You're multiplying all the coordinates. So in the first case, if you're stretching it horizontally, the y-coordinates stay the same, and the x's get multiplied. In this case, it's a little hard to see just because of the graphics, but the x-coordinates stretch and the y-coordinates stay the same numerically. You're multiplying the x-coordinates. We call it b. Algebraically, that means in the equation, you're replacing x with x divided by b. Good. And again, if you replace x with x divided by b in the equation and you put in this point, b times x, when you get to it, it will cancel it back out and get you back to the original x. If it's vertically, the x-coordinates stay the same, but the y-coordinates get multiplied by a. We're in good shape here, and algebraically, guess what? See if you can guess. In the equation, replace y with y over a. Hope that's what you guessed. Life is good. Reflections. Reflections are a slightly different story, but not too much different, not too bad. If you're going to reflect over the x-axis, that gives you this picture. You notice x stays the same, but y becomes negative. You do that negative, you do that numerically and algebraically, that's exactly what you do also. You replace y with minus y, or uh, you would make a negative. And a lot of people, it will be easier if you just make a negative. And if it's only a reflection, it might be negative 1. If you reflect over the y-axis, on the other hand, the x-coordinate changes, but the y-coordinate stays the same. So make the x-coordinates negative in the equation, replace x with the opposite of x, or make b negative in the equation. Good. Uh, in the reflection of the line y equals x, it's a different one. That is not one of the transformations that we're going to do but it's at uh, this moment, but it's good to know because it's coming right up. If you reflect it over the line y equals x, you get the point yx. You've switched the x and the y coordinates. And in the equation, you switch x and y. That actually gives you the inverse function. Uh, so it's good to know, good to remember that. So go ahead and pause again and make sure you've got all of this written down in your blue book. And we are good. The reflections, by the way, I'm sorry if I didn't tell you ahead of time, they're on the inside cover. The bottom of the back cover now is putting it all together, all the translations and dilations. This is a format I like using because it's the same on both sides. It's symmetric for y and x, and so what's happening in both cases is the same. You can think about that. This is the format the book uses. You notice that they are the same. You multiply both sides by a and then add k to both sides, and you get exactly the same equation going on. Also, dividing by b is the same as multiplying by 1 over b. And in both of these cases, k here is the vertical translation, how much it moved up and down. h is the horizontal translation. Those are addition and subtraction. The vertical dilation, how much it's stretched vertically, is a in both equations. 
the horizontal dilation, how much it's stretched horizontally, is B in both equations. A lot to think about, a lot of pieces to put together, but I'm confident you can do it bit by bit, and we are going to have a lot of practice as the year goes on with a lot of different functions. You will get good at it. Congratulations.